In Egypt, an ancient type of cat is struggling in a modern world. Once they were revered. The ancient Egyptians were incredibly fond of cats. Um, they kept them, of course, as pets who would hunt down vermin. And also, one of their goddesses was associated with cats, the goddess Bastet, goddess of love and music and dancing and beauty and pleasure, was a cat because, of course, cats are one of the most self-indulgent animals in the world. But many cats have fallen on hard times in Egypt. Unlike their ancient ancestors, most Egyptians today don't keep pets. So cats are often left on the streets to fend for themselves. Canadian Gloria Loris is out here too. It's okay, kitty. Don't be scared. There she goes. Uh-oh. No, there we go. A resident of Egypt, she's created an organization to help the country's feral cats, especially this breed, known as the Mao. Some believe this spotted kitty is a direct descendant of the first domesticated cats in the world. Basically, what makes a mao a mao are the spots. Maos are the only naturally occurring small spotted cat in the world. You see leopards and cheetahs and bigger cats that have spots, but in terms of small cats, they're the only ones that are able to reproduce the spots naturally. There are other kinds. Domesticated cats today, which come in all colors and patterns, may be descended from Egyptian mouths, although that hasn't yet been proven. At her rescue center in a Cairo suburb, Gloria and her staff take care of wayward kitties and find homes for them when they can. Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna get you. Come on. Yeah. Tracy is here to pick up a bona fide Egyptian-born mow for far less than she'd spend at home. You can get an Egyptian mow in England. Cost you 500 pounds. What are you doing in here? These spotted cats are considered a rare and desirable breed in many countries. But Gloria worries that they're at risk in their native land. Egyptians tend to treat cats kindly, but few want to take care of them in their homes. They've managed for centuries to survive, but they're in danger out there and I do worry about them. Cats are in the garbage. Uh, there's unhealthy conditions and the feline diseases will spread. It's not known for sure if mouths are really the first domesticated cats, but they are an intriguing animal. Wild Chronicles is sponsored by National Geographic Mission Programs. To find out more about your planet, come to www.nationalgeographic.com.